Hi guys, welcome back. This is UK turn seven on the YouTube Wars season two. Again, to um, get a full battle of the whole YouTube Wars two, please see Detroit's channel, uh, Axis and Allies to Garrison. He has every turn in sequence, and um, you can really see the battles. You can also see season one on there, and um, yeah. So, anyways, it's a it's good 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 watch. Um, Nice to, uh, you know, spend a couple hours, just uh, have a drink and uh, blast through the turns. It's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so let's go over, as Detroit says, the ground situation. Currently, the Axis have, let's see, they currently have Warsaw, Berlin, Paris, Rome, the Mediterranean, and we go over here to Calcutta, South Asia, Manila, and Tokyo, did I miss any? So that has a points of one, two, I mean, guess I better do the camera at the same time. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Axis currently have nine out of 12 points. Uh, Axis need to have and hold 12 points by the end of round eight. So let's continue on with UK. Uh, I made a miscalculation in my uh, budget last turn. Um, I forgot to do a convoy that was in season 98. So I ended up with 29 IPCs. So we're getting a transport and a dude for 10, a tank and a mech for another 10, and a tank and a dude for 9 for a grand total of 29 IPCs. And UK only has one attack, and that is the attack on Transjordan. Transjordan is, and I've already talked to the Axis. They have decided to keep the, at all costs, keep Japan units first. I'm sorry, get rid of the Italian units first and keep Japan alive as long as possible. So on this attack, we have one tank coming in from Syria. We have one tank coming from Iran, which Persia, gonna go one, two. We have another tank, thanks to the awesome, uh, the awesomeness of VK's Frenchie who took Egypt. Now I can go one, and two, a total of three tanks. We have a tactical, and we have a fighter. I'm putting these in sequence of uh, threes, fours, and whatnot. Okay, now this transport is gonna pick up this tank and this guy. And so that's one. And that's two units, so that will give me two, oh here it is, two cruiser bombardments. So put those in the three category. Then we have another one, other, one more transport gonna go, actually doesn't need to go anywhere, he's just gonna shuck over. And two. Okay, so uh, that's it. So we have one at four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have two at two. And that's going to be against two at two. Uh, one, two, three, four at four. And one at three. Total of two, four, six, seven dice. Two, four, six, seven against two, four, six, eight, ten dice. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. All right, here we go. We're just gonna roll over here in the middle of China. Oh, and I mentioned I would have a cup this time, but I had trouble finding what I wanted to do. So I guess the cup's gonna have to wait to season three. Sorry. All right, let's do this. I need, man, I need a lot of hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven hits, baby. Seven hits. And I got, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five hits. Five hits, so let's put those dice aside. And let's grab his dice. And he gets one, two, three hits. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So he said to keep this as long as possible. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five, leaving two fighters. Uh, one, two, three, 
right, one, two, three, four, five. And I lost, what is it again? Three. So my guys are gonna lose one, two, and three. And my bombardments are off. All right, so now, the question is, do I want to continue? If I retreat, I can retreat all to the same territory, which means all three tanks can go to Egypt. And actually, I can land everything on Egypt because I uh, own Egypt. So if Japan has two fighters left, what does that really do to me? Because Italy is next. I'm kind of thinking, uh, Italy's next. I'm kind of thinking we're just going to quit. So, uh, we're just going to quit this battle. I am going to retreat everything into Egypt. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I? Because one of the, come on, I got to make sure I got, I make, I got to make sure I killed my amphibious assault. And I did. I had... One, two, three units on the amphibious assault. But, hold on a second. So, how would this work? I think actually all three units have to retreat to the, an originating territory, which we would mean all three tanks would have to retreat to the Sudan. Because nobody actually came from Egypt. I have one came from here, one came from here, and one came from here. Now the rules state all units must return to the same territory. So I am going to pick the all retreat to... Let me think about this for a second. Let me think. I don't think I can retreat to Egypt. Because I didn't come from Egypt. Or did I? Because I moved to... It's hard, that's hard to, that's a hard thing to say. I really don't know the answer to that. Um, I mean, technically, I guess I did come from Egypt because I moved one, two. So I'm going to have to ask the guys about this um, because I really, like I said, I don't know the answer. I do know they all have to go to the same territory. So, and he actually would have came from Egypt because he went one and then two so for now we will put everything here and then we're gonna have to have a talk with the guys to see what is the actual legal move because if this turns out they all need to go here my planes will go one two three wait my planes are here one two my planes will go where the tanks go so uh, right now, you know what? No, that's not going to happen. We're going to keep them here anyways. Uh, let me see here. Let me think about this. Do I just want to keep attacking? Uh, do I want to keep attacking? Hmm. I would have one, two... Three, four, five dice against two. Oh man, I hate when this happens. Okay. Let's think about this. What do I really care about those Japan planes? Do I really care? What are the odds of me getting two hits out of four at three, one at four? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just finish it off and we will just try to take Transjordan. Now we don't have to worry about all this mess about where they can and can't go. But it is something we probably need to figure out. Is Would this be the legal retreat spot or would this be the legal retreat spot? Because I really I don't know the answer to that. So we're going to continue on with one, two, three, four at three. One, two, three, four, and one at four, and he's gonna have two at two. And I'll even give him the ones that hit last time. All right. 
Okay, there's his two at two, and here is my five dice. I need two hits, two hits, and barely, man, one and two. So he is done, and he's gonna re-roll the fighters. The fighters, I'll, I'll let that roll again, because it's kind of it's kind of on my income tracker. It's kind of on my income tracker. Since his rolls were so bad, we're gonna let him roll it again. One hit, okay. So now we have, we're gonna take a tank. We're gonna take Transjordan with two tanks left. The two fighters are gone. And the planes will, hold on a second. The planes will not do that. The planes went one, two, three, and four. They're actually gonna meet up with this carrier over here. Gonna do that. We're gonna do one, two. Okay, my two, my two cruisers and my two transports have to stay. We will bring one, two, and three destroyers there. And let me see here. Okay, I can see we got any important moves over here. Hmm. Should I bring the guy from Scotland over? I think we should, maybe we should beef up. Maybe we should beef this up a little bit. That way when I do my recap, I only gotta do one territory. Okay. And, um, okay, my non-combat movements. Let's do, going back to West India. Right there. And let me make sure I got this correctly. I'm gonna place, one, two, and three. And then one, two, and three. Do I need to place this there? No, because I only have the one. So actually I have three different placements. I forgot I need to rail those guys. Okay. That's it for UK. Let's uh, do my placements of units. Let me make sure I don't want to lose, leave a destroyer there. I don't think so. I mean, it's kind of, this is kind of over. So losing these transports at this time in the game is not a big deal. Um, so I don't really care. So let's go with placement of units. We're going to put two infantry in Union of South Africa. We're going to put one transport in C-Zone 80. We're going to put two tanks and a mech, you guessed it, in my newly liberated Hong Kong. So let's go over, uh, let's go over the recap. London. One, two, is that two chips or one? One, two, three, four infantry. One, two, three, four, five anti-aircraft guns and one mechanized in Gibraltar. One tank, one infantry, one artillery, and one U.S. fighter. We we'll go over here to Transjordan. Two tanks, C-Zone 81, two cruisers and two transports. Remember, these two transports are paired, so they have a defense of one. South of Africa, we have two infantry. Iran, what you can, what you know as Persia, is one infantry and one artillery. And just in case, hold on a second, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, Oh, you can go back. I, I might want to place these here just in case I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But let me let me double check a couple of movements. Planes. One, two, three. In the world land. This fighter can go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I have one fighter that can reach these two. Right? Is that it? So... But round eight, Transjordan isn't worth anything. So we will just stay there. Okay, sorry, uh, that's where I leave off. I ran one infantry and one artillery. C-Zone 80, we have one transport, three destroyers, one carrier, one fighter, one tactical. Right, that was correct, right? One, two, three, yes, okay. And then in West India, we have two artillery and one infantry. And in Hong Kong, we have two tanks and one mechanized. Thank you for the uh, Japan uh, industrial complex there. And I believe that wraps us up. So UK is gonna collect 
Damn it, I should have did this before my turn. You know what? Um, really doesn't matter how much I collect because the only thing I can do is spawn guys here and here, and that doesn't really do anything. So, um, I don't know. How much should I? Eh, forget it. Let's figure this out. How much am I down on this side? I'm down nothing, right? I'm down nothing. Uh, this has a territory value of 1, but this is a 2-point map. This is, we're playing the 1-point map, so actually this is still 0, so I'm actually not down anything. This side of the map. I'm down. Remember, what did we say it was last? We said 15. So I'm down only down 12. Ah, forget it. Here. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. We're over there. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 36. You know what? Uh, I have no convoys. Um, and you know, and 36 is way more than I'm gonna be able to spend next turn, so it really doesn't matter. Um, like I said if it's if it's too much a, a, a skew, I will uh, let you know in the next video. Um, but really, the only thing I can do next turn really is placing here is pointless. Placing there is pointless. Placing over here is pointless. The only thing I can do is place three units there, provided we still have it. It's really the only thing I can do. Best thing I can do would be put down three fighters. I have more than 30 IPCs, so I think we're okay. All right, guys, so we will see you next for Hilltop Pillbox on Italy's turn. And like I said, I don't believe we forgot anything, so I think we're good to go. All right, guys, until next time, the final round, round eight. See you soon. Bye-bye.